I'm Vicki Hogarth and this is a CHCO Newsbreak 26 special report. Politicians across party lines and people across New Brunswick are mourning the loss of the Honorable Greg Thompson. Thompson fell in love with politics at an early age, growing up on a dairy farm in Old Ridge outside St. Stephen. I guess I took a keen interest in politics when I was a kid and I can remember the first election I was ever involved in. I mean, obviously not old enough to vote. Uh, but with the 1960 election, when my f father was a very strong supporter of Louis Robichaud, who was a very dynamic premier who did a lot of uh, great things for New Brunswick. And uh, so I, that was the first election I took a keen interest in. And my father was a liberal. At that time, I decided I was going to be a conservative. So I was supporting Hugh John Fleming, who uh, was premier for eight years and then became a member of parliament. In fact, I wound up taking Hugh John Fleming's seat, uh, or having his seat, if you will, when I ran federally in politics. Over the course of his extensive career, Thompson became one of New Brunswick's most beloved political figures, serving six terms as a member of parliament beginning in 1988 with Brian Mulroney's Conservatives. He most recently served as the Minister of the Legislative Assembly for the riding of St. Croix with the Higgs government. Higgs also appointed Thompson as the Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs. When I first found out he was going to run, I, I think I read it in the paper or I saw, heard it on an interview of some sort, and uh, that he was going to run for us in the, in the election. So I, I called him and I said, uh, so uh, Mr. Thompson, I, I, I've heard that you're, uh, you're, you're interested in running in, in the, in, uh, for us in the next election. I said, that's exciting. And I said, maybe we should meet sometime. And he said, well, really, do you think that's necessary? And I said, well, I'd like to get to know you a little better, because <laughs> normally, you know, I, I would meet with candidate. Um, but he, he was quietly confident and uh, in, in his, uh, well, you know, I've done this for a long time. I've probably done it, a lot, well, he had done it a lot longer than I had. And so uh, right then I thought, well, this is going to be an interesting relationship, um, because it, it showed his, his you know, he, he just puts his mind to something, and that's, that's what's going to happen. So, but as I got to know him even more, I realized just how uh, how that benefited the area that he represented, because uh, and 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 also how it benefited our province or our country in, in his former role, um, because he was he was determined when when he uh, put something uh, on the radar, uh, it was going to happen, and he just wouldn't. He was relentless. Thompson was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin lymphoma in the mid-90s and beat the illness. He put up a good fight during his most recent battle with cancer, but succumbed to the illness on September 10th. He is survived by his wife Linda and their two sons. A book of condolences has been set up at the Legislative Assembly in Fredericton and is available to sign until his funeral on Friday in St. Andrews at the All Saints Anglican Church. One of the milestones of Thompson's legacy of public service was his integral role in the creation of the Veterans' Bill of Rights in 2007 during his time serving as Canada's Minister of Veterans Affairs. They have to have some kind of a reassurance that the government's listening. And that was kind of like the reasoning behind the Bill of, Bill of Rights for Veterans and we unveiled that in Kitchener, you're right, it was uh, 2007. So the Prime Minister and I went up to Kitchener, unveiled it, it was very popular with the veterans and. Uh, and it's displayed in many of the Legion Halls at Eagle, and you'll see that little Bill of Rights. So it did make a difference, but it just gives them the confidence that, you know, we have a government that's interested in our well-being, and, you know, here it is on paper, this is what I'm entitled to, and uh, which they are. During his long and impactful career, Greg Thompson never forgot the people he represented, and we will never forget him. Vicki Hogarth, CHCO News, Fredericton.